Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are driving laser vomit to a whole new level. So uh, one of you came up with a build on my streams and, and we tweaked it a little, little bit and uh, this came out of it. So we are taking two heavy large lasers, four heavy medium lasers, uh, 22 heat sinks and an XL engine 275 and a hunchback and we have an alpha strike of 76. That means with the high hard points, you can pop out of cover, you can jump on an unaware enemy, you can open them up, that thing will either die or be super critical in that component that you focus, then you get back, you of course will rack up a lot of heat, but it doesn't matter, because you scare the enemy away, um, because that, that thing is on, on, on the doorstep to, to hell and death. So, <laughs> this thing is so devastating, it is such a can opener. It cannot defend itself in a brawl. That is the downside. That is absolutely, absolutely crucial that you do not try to brawl with that. But if you just take it extremely slow, focus on the single target, go in, strike him hard and then go back immediately, you can deal some damage there. Oh, actually it's not really damage that you deal, but you just go precisely through the components and they, they get destroyed. So that, that's the idea of the build and it, uh, it is, actually I am scared, I am legit scared of that. Um, you will see that in, in the games that are coming. Um, the build, the skill build for this is very obvious. We go for classic laser vomit. We got, of course, the laser duration and then heat gen, range and cooldown. That, that is what you want. Uh, we are going for a little bit of survivability here because the hunchback is only a 50 toner and sometimes you, you get shot back sometimes and therefore a little bit of armor and uh, point of skeletal density here is quite nice to have skipping mobility this game this build is not about mobility this is lurk uh, about lurking and waiting for the right time then quickly jumping forward getting the damage out and then getting back instantly so no running around like crazy you want to be in the middle of your teammates and wait uh no jump jets here uh, but full cool run, full heat containment, very important. We are running a radar deprivation here just for good measure. I think you don't necessarily need it, but it's a nice to have. And uh, absolutely, absolutely important, double cool shots. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network, we are playing Assault and we probably want to wait a while here. Just because this build, it can destroy side torsos so easily. However, it can only do that if the enemy stands still and is not aware of your position. And this standoff here, we cannot really take it. So we can of course poke with our large lasers, that's that's the thing. But I do not want to rack up too much heat so that, I, mm, that I'm able to do that, that, that one punch thing here. Okay, what's that? That's a thing. Yeah, we got some solid damage to that guy. Uh, it's an arctic wolf. And yeah, again, try not to shoot light mechs that are running around. They will splash all of your damage um, to all of their components. Instead, go, go for the big ones, go for the steady ones. And then again, um, it's only only early game poking here that we are doing. Only early game poking. Uh, we're gonna wait for the perfect opportunity. Shall we take that? That was overkill, I know, but you know, I, I just wanted to, to 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 be sure. Okay. So we got some serious damage to that um, annihilator already. So that is good. Also, make sure. Wait, there's a guy coming. Um, make sure when, when you're doing that. Open! Oh, Hellbringer is scored, one shot, kilo. Hellbringer, kilo, one shot, center torso. Um, when you're doing that, uh, that you have teammates around, because if they, if the enemy retaliate at you, 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 you're gonna die horribly, because the Hunchback is not the sturdiest mech in the world, absolutely not. So, yeah, that was great, that Hellbringer just popped. I mean, he did not really, but we got some, some good damage to him. So it's a very, very slow and chill mag. You want to wait for your perfect, uh, for a perfect moment to get in. Uh, for example, this. That's not perfect. New target acquired. Uh, but I wanted to get in when the enemy shot our friends, uh, because that means that their weapons aren't cooldown. Okay. That's it, and that is it. That's what you do. You get your high mounts to a position where they can actually shoot something, and then you press the both of the buttons and deal damage. Mad cat. Um, target. Yeah, the Black Knight is pretty close. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Roughneck coming in. Roughneck. And open. He's open. 
I couldn't kill him, but he's open! Santa Torso open on a roughneck, just like that. So crazy. So crazy. And the Mad Cat is pushing now, let's go. Uh, uh, not quite open, but still good enough. Dude, they are super crit in the core. Uh, I opened them up so, so hard. Alright, let's try to get a kill on the Black Knight. It wasn't the Black Knight, uh, it was another Mad Cat here. Did you see that? I didn't even do need to use my cool shots. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's dumb. This build is so dumb. This, this shouldn't be allowed, actually. There must, must be a law against it. Like, seriously, how is that, how is that okay? How is such an Alpha Strike okay? Honestly, I, I vote, I vote for, for a longer time to kill. So, I believe PGI should balance the game in a way that the time to kill is way longer than that. Okay, cool shot. Let me go for this guy. He should be damaged as well. Yeah, this is the guy from earlier. Kill him. And the party's on. There we go. Easy. Sorry, no disrespect for my enemies. But they just didn't saw it coming. And this is the problem of that. High alpha builds are so devastating for people, as, like for new players that are not really aware and they are still learning the game or whatever. Um, but they didn't see it coming. They weren't prepared for that. And then they died. And low time to kill is... I don't know, in a Mac Warrior game, it's not really what, what Mac Warrior is all about, right? Anyway, so let's uh, see the end score. We got two killing blows, we got seven assists, we got one kill most damage dealt, 570 damage with two components destroyed. And the damage numbers, they won't be super high in this game because it was so damn focused. We opened them up and we killed them. End of story. No splashing damage, no sustained fight, that's it. And yeah, that was the first game. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day, we are playing the Tourmaline Desert, we are playing Assault, and we wanna set up here an Echo 6, uh, Fox 6, first Fox 6, then later Echo 6. Uh, we can try to poke a little bit with our large lasers, but I don't want to risk too much of my armor getting destroyed, so therefore, uh, I just wanna peek once, and, and that's it then. Once, twice, can we do it? We can do this. Alright. Ooh! Okay, that that was that was scary. That was Lamex. He was on. He's in my unit, actually. Dude, don't do that to me. Yeah, sorry, I am doing it to you, but uh, uh, look at it. It's uh, it's Lamex in you know, my 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 unit member. Hi. All right, drove him off. But yeah, so it's time to regroup. It. Oh, are you sure about Fox Seven, guys? I don't like that. Echo Six is way better. Um. Got it. Uh, no, not cool, not cool. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> let's focus, let's focus and try to do something here. Speaking of it, that was a bad laser burn. Uh, half of my lasers went over here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to stick to my team and if my team does a move, then I'm going with them. Or if they're getting pushed, I'm gonna punish the people who are pushing my teammates. Therefore, uh, yeah, something like that. Or we can quickly get... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Alright. Some serious damage to the Viper, but this is what I was telling you earlier. Um, it is splashed. Let's go for the Atlas here. Hmm, that's not good. I want to cool down until I am at 30% uh, again, and then we engage again. So, it's it's again a very, very slow-paced mech. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, we got that guy. Very slow paced. You gotta focus. You gotta really focus on your targets. Don't waste your shots. You gotta make that one shot that you have count. Uh, also, my, my guys in uh, Fox 7 down there, they're doing nothing. As I said before, Echo 6 is the way better approach. Don't go down to the Death Valley. Alright, we peek once. Please don't block me, I wanna peek. Okay, there we go. That's an open Mad Cat. Mad Cat is open, Delta. So devastating. So damn devastating. Okay. I'm cooling down again. We're not in a rush. Uh, however, I'd like, I'd really like to have an angle. Uh, okay, enemies from behind now. Okay, and this is the thing that I was uh, <coughs> telling you. Sorry guys, I had a big cough here. I had a big cough. Um, I, I needed to cut that out, I'm sorry. Alright, but <coughs> I wanted to say 
I wanted to say, um, we are gonna defend this here. And if the enemy is pushing us, we are ready. I do not want to engage the firing line there. Or am I? Alright, let's try. He's open. Man, this is such a can opener. The Mauler is open, kill him. Such a can opener. So absurd. Okay, it's time for the coup shot. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm still I'm still sick and sometimes I'm get, getting these coughing fits. Uh, don't like them too much. But it just happens. We are cold again, so that means that we should engage. And the Raven is getting driven out. So maybe we can... Oh, wait. Hello? Okay. I mean, that works for me. Ah, he twisted it, though. He twisted it. Hellbringer. Let's go. Okay, he's down to one heavy medium. He's doing the same thing here. He has the same build, more or less. Uh, here comes a uh, thing. I do. I should have gone for my mediums, to be honest. That was not good. Ah, that was not good. Okay, cool shot. Let's go for him. Alrighty. Oh, we got an Atlas in the outskirts. Look at that. He is in Golf uh, in Echo 7. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that Wolfhound pushing me there. Um, that, that was critical. That was super critical. But it doesn't matter because we we have won the game probably. We are 9 and 4. It's so absurd. I don't know. Is it fun to play? Oh yeah, sure. But, hmm. Feels bad for the enemy team, somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for something here. Yeah. I wanted to get the leg. Wasn't really a good burn. Yeah, and he's out. Alrighty, so the Viper is running off. I cannot possibly catch him. Um, instead, I try to inter intercept him. New What's that? It's a Griffin. A Griffin. Oh, here's the Atlas. Hey, Atlas. <laughs> Alright. I deserve that. I, I get it. I deserve that. Just, I was too, too cheeky here. I was I was facing him head, head on and I couldn't do anything against him. Absolutely not. Coming in with AC20, SRM and pulse lasers, no. What, what's he doing on the outskirts so long? I probably was disconnected or AFK, maybe. But yeah, the Viper is the last enemy. And as you could see already, we dealt 700 something here. So this, again, the build is strong. Very strong build. If you take it super slow, if you have teammates around, again, this is a very important to have teammates around or cover. Because if you're getting pushed, you're dead. You cannot defend yourself in a brawl. Absolutely not. But you can play it as a can opener for your team to follow up and uh, something like that happens here. So we got uh, zero killing blows, but... 10 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, 782 damage, and 2 components destroyed. That's your daily dose, everybody. That was the Laser Woman Hellbringer. And if you enjoyed that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel, then go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.